Hey folks, welcome back to Deadly Premonition. I am back at the sheriff's office. I had to walk back here because Emily stole my fun V. Okay, um, I'm actually right now... I'm gonna look for George. We'll see if George is in. Because I would like to return his, um... I'd like to return his dumbbell again. And also because I have, like, a shit ton of time to kill before I have to go do the next plot point, and he's not in here. God, this is ridiculous. That's just absolutely ridiculous. George, you're such a stereotype, I swear. So yeah, I have, a, I have another co-pilot tonight. Uh, Shiner Ruby Redbird. Um, actually, some really good stuff. Very, very light, very refreshing. Can I go in here? There we go. Yo, George! Nope, nobody home. Oh, Thomas is in there. Okay. No, I, I don't particularly need lunch, though. I just need... Yeah, because I'm still still full from... Uh... No, can't go that way. I am still full from uh, our little uh, adventure at the A and G with the um, the Harry Stewart special. Apparently, uh, Mr. Stewart likes this god awful sandwich with turkey and um, cereal and strawberry jam and God only knows what all else on it. Okay, here, Thomas, go on, go on out there. Okay. Now I'll go out there too. We'll see if we can hunt George down. Thomas is um moving them hips. That's a nice walk nice uh nice walk you got there, Thomas. Yeah, put him on the runway. Okay. I'm trying to look up. Let me look up. Fine. I don't want to look up. Maybe he's down here? Where the hell does George go? I mean, he's never here. Okay. Um, what time is it? It's 11 o'clock. Okay. So, I wonder... Can I, uh, shoot targets? Yeah, I can shoot targets. I mean, I have... Yeah, okay. That's enough of that. Ah! Just walk. Please. Okay, well... Why don't I head up here? I head up here. Scratch my knee. Couple of couple of generic uh, NPCs there. Nobody home there that's needing needing talking to. I don't suppose he's in the uh, the loo. No. <laughs> Sashay, Thomas. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's go do something else. All right. How much gas? I got enough gas to go go places. Yes. But let's try not to take all the cones out. Let's see. Uh, there's that's a phone. I don't know if I've ever noticed that phone. Oh, oh God. Let's try to straighten up a little bit here. Okay. No, I'm not going to do the driving game again today. Yes? To recap, the movie was the fourth sequel in a series that started in 1978. Uh -huh. That's right, Zack. It was uh, Superman yeah. 4, The Quest for Peace. Lex Luthor was back. It was played by Gene Hackman. That alone made it a must for all us fans. Uh-huh. 
I don't remember much more about it. No, I, th I, I think I sure only saw it one it. time, and Still it forget was, four. Um, yeah. Richard Donner directing one and yeah, two. Yeah, those were good. Now, those those were awesome. Were great movies. And Christopher Reeve really shined as Superman. He was the best Superman. Actually, Zach, I've got a confession oh? to make. Promise not to tell anyone because I'd be. Really oh, I'm not telling anybody except you know the, like the first two Superman 500 movies people more than watching the first this. two Star Wars movies. Totally understandable. John did a better job with the theme song for Superman. Oh hell yeah! But whenever I try to hum it, it always turns into the Star Wars song somewhere along uh, the way. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's strange, Zach. I know. Well, you're you're very so, strange. Zach, which Richard Donner film do you like the best? No need to hurry. Well, take some time and think it over. Yeah. I have no idea where I'm going, honestly. I'm just kind of, uh, running around here. Hey, bro. Hey. Um, maybe there's a, uh, let's see. Let me check the map real quick, because I think there might be a trading card up along this way. Let's see. Uh, map. Yeah. Um, how about I go... Okay, yeah, this way. Oh, there's a couple of trading cards down this way. Alright, so let's, um, hang a ride here. And we'll go. Uh, we'll go pick up some cards. We'll go do that. Get this. Get, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Important mission. You too. Move it, minivan. <laughs> um. Did I go the right way? Yeah, I did. Oh, shizzle. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's get the one that's out in the open first, shall we? Get out of the car. Out of the fun, B York. All right. There it is. It's over this way. I, I see it. I see the shiny. Okay, no need to hurry. No, I'm just kidding. Plenty of need to hurry. This is urgent FBI business. Give me that cart. Jack the Raging Bull. Uh huh. Ah, oh, that charming fellow. Let's, uh, let's check that card out, actually. Let's take a look. Uh, profiling. Trading cards. There we go. Uh, there's Rhett. There's his wife. There's Jack. The owner of the gas station. A man with two divorces in his past. He's not known for his cheerful attitude. Well, shit, you could have fooled me. He does not like talking to local or federal officers of the law. I never would have guessed. Okay. Oh, and uh, yeah, the gas station's right over there, so I can, uh, I can fill up and also grease Jack's palm while we're waiting. Cats are arguing behind me. Okay, now there's, um... Electrical substation. Okay. Do I really want to drive half a block? Oops. Wrong, wrong key. There we go. Let me look at the map again real quick. Yeah, there's, there's a card there. And then there's a little house here. Looks like Keith's house. Okay. And, oh, what's, what's this? There's a card at the gas station. Oh, uh, I know that uh, if you give Jack a thousand bucks, the panda bear, Wesley the gunsmith, the milk barn, George's house. Okay, there's a card there. Sanders junkyard. What have we here? Sweary 65. Emily's house. Oh, Emily's home. Okay. George is not home, though. White Spruce Farm. Alright, where the hell am I? Right there. Okay. Let's see if I can go get this card over here. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna hoof it. I'm just gonna walk. Now, surely... Okay. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna do a bad thing. Here we go. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry I blew up your stuff. I'm gonna blow up some more of your stuff. 
Maybe not. There's some money over there, I see. Ah! Just shoot the barrels. Now shoot barrel. There you go. Ooh, lots of money over there. Okay. Okay. Just put all this, put all it away. Give me the money. Okay, and there's a uh, trading card. Should be over this away somewhere. This happy little maze. Oh, hell. Alright. Give me my uh, shooting iron back. Pew! Alright. Give me that money. Right out there in the open. Okay. Uh, no, not exactly. Okay. Um... If I blow up all these barrels, get the gun out. Oh, shit! <laughs> sorry! So sorry! Whoa! Uh, what was that, York? Oh, there we go. Hey! Olivia! Okay, Miss, uh, Miss KG Pants here. All right, so we've done that. Let's go look in Keith's windows. Hello, peeping Tom. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not very nice house. I've they've got it there. It's. Rock on, Keith. Rock on. Alright, let's go find the fun bee. Oh, shit. I left it over there. Okay. I, I, I left the car... Oh, damn. I left the car, like, right over here, though. Where's my car? Who took my car? Who took my fun bee? Where's my fun bee? Oh, that is bullshit. Where's my car? I mean, I've got a flare I can use, I guess. Ugh. Shh. Okay. Alright, let me uh, just shoot off a flare here. Fine. Yeah. Just, uh... Pew! Yay, fireworks! Oh, hey. <laughs> okay. Hey, thank you. Nice fresh car. Okay, uh, now we're two. I got two more, uh, two more trading cards. Uh, let's see. There's a campground there. There's, um, main part of town here, looks like. Okay, so George is apparently home now, so let's head back to the Sheriff's Department. I went to see every Richard Donner movie on the day they premiered. Did you really? Every single one. Goonies. Goonies, oh Boss yeah. Boys. Oh yeah. The Lethal Weapon series. <laughs> but my favorite has to be Lady Hawk. Really? Hall. Really, York? That was back in 1985. Uh-huh. Same year as Goonies. Both Rutger Hauer and Michelle Pfeiffer really shine in that one. But more than anything, it's the story setting that was really good. Oh. A love story about a cursed <laughs> knight that changes nice. into a wolf at night. And a I found the, uh, I found the bubble lights. A hawk during the day. Very romantic. Don't you think so, Zach? Oh, totally. They can only be together at dusk, right between day and night. Together as humans for only a brief moment. Aww. Perfect setting for a fantasy movie. Hmm. I just had a thought, so Yeah? I really like those movies that have women changing into I did, um... Can you tell which movie I just remembered? The, uh, Lost the Skeleton of Cadavera? With Nastasia Kinski in the lead role. Cat people. Now, that was a fantastic movie. 
Yeah, 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 perhaps we'll finish we should. This later. All right. I've got to get my butt back to the sheriff's department so I can take George his stupid dumb dumbbell, idiot dumb stupid bell. Uh, all right. Get out the car. <laughs> In we go. Alright, George. Your ass better be here. Francis York Morgan. Thomas McLean. There he is. Alright. George, you stay your ass right there. So I can give you back your stupid dumbbell. Again. Yeah, I actually had done this before. And uh, the game crashed before I could save. Lost it. I came back to the uh, sheriff's office. He was not here. George was not here. Where the hell is he? In here? Oh god, the one... I didn't even think to try to open that door, did I? <laughs> yep, there's George. Hi, George. Are you flexing in front of the mirror, George? Are you really? Oh my god. Uh, hello? Hi. I, I'm- oh, oh, good god. Uh, George, can- can you please uh, stop this? This is awkward. George, uh, do you work out every day? Of course, Agent Morgan. Exercise keeps me healthy. Uh-huh. I haven't missed a day since I started in high school. Okay. Now that's impressive. Remind me to get more exercise. Yeah. Eh? Not like that, though. I please. can't do my full routine today without Arnold. I haven't seen Arnold around since- Yesterday, uh -huh. Arnold. He's got baseball He's a training bats. buddy of mine. His partner Sylvester misses him too. If you see Arnold around, yeah, Arnold let and me know, Sylvester will ya? are dumbbells. Can't finish my workout menu without him. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for him. Oh, good God! Okay. George, I found Arnold. Really? Yep, really. <laughs> that face! Oh my God! But I got him to come back. There you go. Uh, oh, <laughs> Arnold. Well done, Agent Morgan. Oh, good God. Now I can work out using my normal workout menu. Good to hear that. Uh, here's a little something to show you my appreciation. Oh, God. Um, okay. Yay, Arnold and Sylvester. Okay, good. Let's get the hell out of here. So that makes us even. I don't okay, we, well, don't be slinging those things you around. Don't owe me anything. No changes to how we work together. Whoa! Just bear that in mind. Okay. Zach, he needs some friends who aren't so dumb. Ha ha ha! Okay, have you have fun, George? I'm gonna. All right, I'm I'm outy. I am outy. I'm gonna go save this shit. So I don't have to do this again? Yeah, I mean, I'm told that the uh, the PC port of Deadly Premonition has its share of uh, problems. And I, I will be the first to admit, the, the controls are not great. Some of the... Uh, I, there are some points already. Uh, do you remember the uh, fight with the red raincoat guy in the elevator? If I didn't love this game so much, I, I would have already rage quat it over that. Um, other than that, I have not found anything horribly game-breakingly wrong with it, though. I, I I hear all these horror stories, but it seems okay. And yeah, a good goofy-ass story does cover up a multitude of sins, I suppose. Okay, let me go get a car. And let's see, where are we going to go now? We still got 10 hours to kill. Uh, let's go back to the hotel and see if we can uh, do Polly's little side quest. No, I don't need to uh, <laughs> turn, the, uh, turn the lights on. Yeah, now that I've found this. Oh, God. Oh, God, sorry. We have Nastasia Kinski. 
in the lead role in Paul Schrader yeah. directed back in 1981. That's right, Zach. Cat people. Uh huh. About a woman who turns into a leopard when she falls. And in also love eats cat and food. Eats the person she loves. Shit. Sorry, dude. I thought it was romantic. Um. Real romance, right? Uh, there. no, no. That that's <laughs> that's not romance. Casting her made that movie a success. That's Silence of the Lambs. Alton McDowell as her brother was also a good call. He's like a panther, even without any of that special Hollywood makeup. True that. Now the name Malcolm McDowell rings another. Clockwork bell. Orange. You know the Invasion of the Body Snatchers. About, right, Zach? Don't tell me you're thinking about. That Clockwork is Orange. exactly what I was thinking about. Malcolm McDowell. Come on, it's pretty obvious. Okay, then Invasion Blue of the Body S- Thunder. Blue Thunder. Came out in 1983. Was directed by John Badham. Malcolm plays the bad guy in that one. Why was I totally thinking? Nah, I don't know. The hero Roy Scheider. At least I think so. I have to say, or is that uh, Ronnie McDowell in Blue Thunder? In um, in Zach, of the Body if you snatches. disagree with any of my opinions about movies, just come out and speak your mind. Yo, okay? I have been just all your along, mind. York. You know that perfectly well. Get get out the car. We're going hunting for something. I don't know what. Is that a dog on the road? Puppy. Hi, puppy. Hi. Nice doggy. Hi. How you doing? So whose house is this? Brian's, it says. Hi. How you doing? Okay. Sarah, please, let's not hit the dog with the car. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Um. Well. Okay. Shh. Hey, buddy. Oh. <laughs> well, that was fun. Rolled over the car. Almost hit somebody else. Ah, oh, damn. Is it raining? It, is it, is it going to start raining? This town rolls up the sidewalks when it rains. Everything shuts down. Mayor Greenville, I felt a raindrop. Shut down everything. Oh, God. Come on. Move it, buddy. Move it. Out the way. Out the way. There we go. <laughs> I'm never going to stop playing with that now. You know that, right? Lots of uh, stuff. Hi, Polly. Hi. Oh, hi. hi. Talk? See, that, that, now that may be a bug there, because Polly never really seems to say anything. But the game acts like I talk to her. So that's a, a little odd. Alright, well, let's see if we cannot find Polly's picture. One of the bottles has Polly written on it. So it's like she needs to keep the bottle. I wonder. <laughs> Nope, okay. <laughs> it was worth a try. I mean, it works in the Ghostbusters game. Why not? Oh, another one. Hey, wow. Scratch my neck. Okay. Ah, here's something. A flare. Hey, I'll take it. Uh, puts... Ruts Bam on future? Puts Ham on future? Puts Dam on future? Okay. Ah, huh? ah, trading card. Oh, Mr. FK in the coffee. Oh, that's got green teeth. Okay, card. I beg of you, please do not spoil me. Where is Mr. FK? There he is. A seed salesman. A bit overweight, but good-hearted. He likes to talk and joke around. Starts showing up in town a few months ago, and the townsfolk like him. Okay. And he's a, uh, a bit creepy. See, have I peeked in this room? 
smallmouth bass. I've been fishing. I have not caught a single actual fish yet. Not one. I've caught food. I've caught coffee. I've caught weps. I've caught all kinds of other shit. No actual fish. What have we here? Can I get in here? Uh, apparently I can. Okay. Root beer. Hmm. Well, this is a fancy room. Wait a minute. Is this my room? Shit, this is my room. <laughs> I don't want to be out here. I don't want to be in my room right now. I didn't even notice that I've got a patio door, for God's sake. All this time. Oh, can I swing? Can I, can I get on the swing? No. A boathouse. Huh. Okay, can I fish here? I, I, there's, there's a little fishy... Yeah, there's a fishy thing. I'm gonna fish. Yep. Yep. Give me a worm. Throw it in. Nice and relaxing. Ah. Just take a break. Go fishing. Chill out on the lake. Have a beer. Oh, shit. There we go. No, no break. There we go. Oh, I got some loot. I'm guessing the shocked Emily face means you lose your... What the hell? I caught it. I caught a Polly Oxford. Is that, is that seriously Polly's picture? Hold up. Hold the fuck up. Hold up. Really? <laughs> I come out here just to kill some time and bullshit around. Don't even tell me. No? Okay. Maybe that was a, uh... Maybe that was a trading card. <laughs> like, no, don't even tell me. Yep, that, it, yep, yep, it's a trading card. The owner of the hotel, been on the pushy side, but full of good intentions. She enjoys talking, but is hard of hearing, to say the least. Okay. I'm like, no, there's, there's no way that I could have just happened to get the item there. Alright, let's just use a worm. There you go. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Ah! Shorty all up in my face. Hi, Shorty. How you doing? All right. Still have yet to catch any actual fish. Yep. Uh, Tinket. Oh, fish, fish, fish. I got a fish. Well, we can scratch that off the bucket list. We got an actual fish. Hot diggity damn. I'm keeping that shit. That's my dinner. All right, that's an, that's enough fishing for now. Okay. Is it possible for me to get over there? That's what I want to know. I want to get to that little boathouse. I want to get over there. There's something there. Oh. <laughs> okay. That, that's cute. Okay. Um, there's got to be a way over there. If I take the, uh, the high road, perhaps? No, 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 no. Okay. Let's, let's look. Let's look at the... Uh... Okay, I see there's a... a, a st ah, shit. See, there's a staircase over there. Run, 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 run. Okay. Run, 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 run. Oh, 
Yeah, right over here, see? And, hey. Could one of those be Polly's place? Could it? Could it possibly? Climb down. Alright. Okay. Ah. Uh, we had to chase somebody in a boat, did we really? Okay, so that that's a fish spot. Well shit. Okay, folks. Well. I think at this point I'm gonna call it a night. We will come back next time and look for Polly's picture some more. And I will see you then. Bye bye.